She's a multi-talented actress, beautiful to look at. She's in a hit series called The Scarecrow and Mrs. King, which is just going and going and going, which is great. And we just found out that today is her birthday. Isn't that nice? Yes. So please help me welcome and wish happy birthday to Kate Jackson. Thank you. See, now why didn't you tell me? I was, I was going to tell you the first thing when I came out. I was hoping you'd say, well, how was your day? And I'd say, fine, it's my birthday. Oh, see, let's just take it from the top again. Yeah. <laughs> now, are you, I won't ask you what birthday because you, you can look ask me. What birthday? 36. Okay, that means 40. <laughs> no, that's an no, 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 that we, I checked it out. That is right. Yeah. <laughs> now. now. I've got to tell you, I am so tired. I'm goofy. I feel so. I got up at four o'clock this morning, which has been the, the pattern this week and last week. Why? <laughs> well, they pay me very well to do it. Oh, so I, oh. I do it, and uh, and I had the greatest, the great day. You know, the crew. I work with the most wonderful people in the world, and they kept. It was surprise after surprise and surprise, and it, um, so I'm goofy. So what did they give you? You got a cake, obviously. I got a little cake, and I have a, I have a nickname. And I got a, is... a nice Willard, the, the little rat, yeah. Will Willard. I don't know how I got this nickname, and I'm not entirely sure I deserve it, but it stuck. So, and so I got a. Um, uh, well, there was a surprise party Saturday night, I, which I did know about, and I you took my camera. And no, no, I decided instead of pretending, I would just take my camera with me. And when they said surprise, I took their picture. Uh, so I have all these great pictures of everybody going. <laughs> and I'm the one with the pictures. And so what did you get? Let's go back to good things. Oh, like I've gifts. gotten so many things I can't even tell you. I, I mean, just wonderful things. From flowers to little little personal things, just wonderful things. Isn't it nice when, you, when you're liked, you walk on a set and they like you? It and sure feels people good. People like you. you know, what did the producer give you because you're a hit? Well, they gave us, you know, the, well, the party. Oh, big and, deal. And not. <laughs> Was the party inside your That's new Rolls Royce? Well, <laughs> no, I didn't get it. I didn't get a Rolls. Yeah, because you always hear Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? You always hear these stories. I never have gotten... Uh, once, NBC sent me a Pinto with a note, back it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought, you know... <laughs> I'm always hoping... What if I, said, I know we're not going to talk about your divorce at all. So we're not going to... But is there a new man? No, no, no. Uh, the, there is, no, oh no, no, no! Is it still? It's still in front of the lawyer. Somebody went, oh. But is there somebody new in your life that could give you a gift? There. <laughs> Anybody special? You could give me a gift. You stopped me in the middle of my yeah. talk. Um, I well, I'll have to see. I think so. I think I'm going to dinner tonight, and and we'll see if there's a gift. A gift? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> isn't it funny? Women expect gifts from men. Do you hesitate before you buy a gift for a man? Oh, not at all. I love to buy gifts for people. And I don't re even need a reason. Oh. <laughs> Third time on with me. <laughs> uh, are gifts in the mail? I'm sorry. I'll bet. <laughs> Along with the check. Yeah. <laughs> but do you give men gifts? When you're courting a man, <clears throat> it's been so long for me. Yeah. I'm 20 years married. It's working out, you know. It's, it's nice to wake up and roll over after 20 years and see somebody there that, you know, is a friend. <laughs> Usually it's Edgar's secretary. But, I, but do you, when you're, when you're going out with a man now, like in my day, you didn't buy, they bought you. Do you feel like you see, oh, so-and-so would like that, you just go out and buy him a gift? I do, yeah, I do that. And do you call them and all that stuff? Sure. It's great. I don't have any problem with that. Do, do you think they'll get married again? Do you think they'll just... Gosh. I, you know, I really don't know. Um, I think probably so. <laughs> Would you like to have children? Yes, I, I want to have children. Yeah. And um, since it's my birthday and I know my entire family is watching, I'd like to be married when yeah. I have children. <laughs> well, that's very unusual. But in this town, it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't seem to. If you... If you woke up and were throwing up and realized there's going to be a little Kate Jr., would, would you just say the hell with it? I'm 36. I'm going to have the kid anyhow. Sure. Yeah, I would too. But if my mother's listening, no, I would never do that. <laughs> Ever. Are you close to your mother? Yes, very. And I know that my mother and my sister 
and her husband and my little nephew and my grandmother are all trying to call me today to tell me happy birthday. And if you don't get me, I know that you're trying to call me. That's nice. You should call them. I'm, I tried. I couldn't get them either. Use the NBC line. I will. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to keep so thin? Is your whole family thin like that? I've never really had a, a problem with, you know, I started that eat to win diet. A diet? Well, it's a, a way of eating, I should yeah. say. It's not really a diet. In fact, I'm eating more complex carbohydrates now than I ever have before. And I really feel good. But when I get tired, I do tend to get very goofy. I mean, you know, I just feel goofy. I, but I'm sleeping better. And I have um, a, a lot of energy all day long. Somebody told me you, you, you have energy that's crazy, wonderful, that you go out and you play like seven sets of tennis. And, yeah, and I've, I've been known to stay out a long time. Are you competitive? Very. Yeah. Um, um, even in games? Like, I'm competitive. Well, oh, that's what I mean. In the tennis court, you know, um, you're, you're, it's just just you. Just It's just me. That's really the only time that it is because otherwise I'm a team player. I play with, you know, there's the crew and our producers and writers and the other actors and all that. So I'm, I'm always a team player. So on the tennis court, I get to just be me. And so I, I get pretty focused in. It's, it's an important way to relax and concentrate and get a lot of good exercise. Are you a good loser or a bad loser? I'm a terrific loser. <laughs> I've, I've seen people take a racket, you know, and throw no, it across that, the No, no I really don't. I am a good loser because um, I, I play fairly well and it's, if, you know, if somebody plays a better game, then it's much more fun to, you know, you, you've got to enjoy it. I don't want to be a jerk. That, I get, no, no, I lose, but, and I'm terrible. No, they, nobody will play anymore. But you've seen this town. You've seen those people get on the tennis courts, and they play as if it's a contract involved. You yeah. know, well, go to hell. You know, that's a, yeah. And they get crazy that way. What would happen? Or have you ever dated a man that's been much more athletic than he? Do they get intimidated by that? No, I never have. It's, I never have. <laughs> no, we're both thinking. I can't. You know, I, I really, I don't think I ever have. In fact. It's frustrating because I have dated people and, and played tennis and they've never picked up a racket before and I can't return the ball. I don't know how they do it, but it, it's, uh, I never, I don't think I ever have. Yeah, I'm seeing, but if, you. if I were more athletic, I would beat them if I could. Yeah. I wouldn't throw the game if that's the. Yeah, that's, you wouldn't throw the game if it was someone you were really crazy about. Then I'd throw the game. Yeah, exactly. Game. <laughs> what game? The hell. Are you romantic? Like, would okay. you. Would you chuck it all to go off with someone? No. <laughs> no, I really wouldn't. I wouldn't either. It's too nice. I'm having such a good time now. You know, I went to the Bruce Springsteen concert when he was here, which was a wonderful thing. And I, yeah, I went really to look at the people. I thought, this is a great acting exercise, and I don't know anything about this. And I'm going to go look at the people. And I was so caught up in it. I ended up one of the ones standing on my chair and, you know, just having a great time. And I guess... These, these are now, you know, Carly Simon said these are the good old days. And when he sings glory days. And these, are, these seem to me to be the glory days. I'm just having the best time ever. I've forgotten what you asked me. But no, I, I, I asked that answer no, this I love what you just said, that you know it's the good times for you. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't chuck it now. You know, yeah. things, can, things change. Things get better. Things get a little bit. It's so nice right now. I, I wouldn't want to change it. Have you ever, at one point in your career, ever just said, the hell with this, I'm quitting? No, I mean, I, momentarily yeah. I'll become frustrated and say, I'm just going to stop. This is just too, too difficult. But I don't ever, it's the only thing that I want to do and the only thing that I do. Did it's you, just it. Did you ever want to be anything else but an actress? Never. I don't remember. I don't even remember ever making a decision to be an actress. I just knew that I would. Yeah, isn't that funny? Me too. I just was born. I said, that's it. Yeah. Showbiz. Put taps on those booties. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back at this commercial message. Please stay tuned.